Welcome back everyone. Today I wanted to give you guys an update on the Simpsons remastered by Rubes. A lot has happened since my last video and I'm really invested in this project now. Last time I covered video number one and two and now we're actually blessed with video number three and four. In his third installment, the characters are in, we get a look at the remaining Simpsons family's characters, assets he added, and even dynamic weather system with a day-night cycle. Starting off, he walks us through adding the assets. He adds the coins, trees, light poles, fire hydrants, etc. A lot of other things that were just missing. This makes the world look a lot more complete. I didn't really realize how much was missing while watching his other videos, but we can see this when he highlights the cemetery. One click and all the dynamic objects are in, making the world a little bit more full, at least in this part. He does this for the rest of the world, adding the correct items, making Springfield slowly come together from what it's supposed to be in the show and the original game. I do want to mention that this project has had help creating assets in the past, and this time is no different. He had help from a friend creating a tool that would allow him to add the objects in their correct locations without having to do it himself, which would have taken a long time, and to be honest, Finding their correct locations would be a lot harder just going back from the old game to the new game that he's creating. Though what I will say is that using the importer tool made it simpler to place the objects correctly, but it created improper placements in some areas. Like Mr. Burns house has gates, windows, and doors that aren't supposed to be there and are disproportionate to where it's supposed to be. Or the front stairs having large hitboxes preventing from you from driving up it or just crashing into it when you're not supposed to really do that. It's supposed to act more of a ramp instead of a wall. So there is some tweaking required, but so far it's starting to look a lot more complete. Now we move on to the day night cycle he mentioned earlier in his video. He bought a pack that allows him to change the time of day and even set it to be animated creating a daily sun cycle. Aligning more what to GTA games would have. I kind of like this feature seeing that the game has RTX and advanced graphics. Different times of day will allow players to enjoy the effects of lighting on objects around them and give a bit more dynamic feel to the entire game. With a day night system now in place he also had to adjust the cars a little when playing at night. The cars would now need lights. He added toggleable headlights using L on the keyboard. He added the Aurora Borealis to the night sky aside from everything else he's already brought in. I think this is a good look for the game and adds a little bit more dynamic range to the game. It's not original and it's far from original, but I just thought it was kind of cool just to see something a little different. But I'm also kind of on the fence and I don't really know how to feel about it overall. That's not it for the day-night cycle plugin though. It also includes a weather system letting him add rain, snow, and a few other types of weather systems. But my god, does it add so much more to the atmospheric feel of the game. I like this addition a lot more than the Aurora Borealis if I'm going to be honest because rain, snow, even sun or wind or some gusty winds or whatever you might have within this plugin is a little bit more realistic than having a natural phenomenon happen in Springfield that is even close to Springfield itself. So this one's realistic and I think this one's a little bit more manageable in, in terms of some authenticity if you might. Moving on to the characters, we now have Bart and Lisa. We already had Homer and Marge, but they just needed a few tweaks to the animations for both which have now been updated somewhat. He doesn't touch on them too much seeing that they're directly in from the original. They didn't really need much to work, just minor adjustments here and there. So now for his fourth installment, he tackles a traffic system he's been dreading as well as a few other additions he left out in his last video. Seeing that he added the day-night cycle, he needed lighting, not just for the cars but for the entire city. He added lighting to the street poles allowing more visibility for the players as well as adding to the nighttime feel. He also went back and fixed the AI pedestrians he added in video number two. After a few tweaks and hilarious fails, he managed to get them working great, almost as close as the original hit and run, but they look pretty good now. The AI cars are the hardest task he set for this video, but what helped was the current traffic system that was already mapped out from the previous game. Now he only needed to test a model block in order to see if they'd work well. After more work, the cars are in. They seem to be working well, following the paths that are coded to the previous game, but when trying to convert the vehicles into actual vehicles, whatever that means, it leads them to turn indefinitely. So by doing this, the steering becomes real, the wheels turn when the car turns, and the bug had a simple solution, so it was kind of worth going through the trouble and adding this feature in. It makes it look a little bit more believable when looking at cars. So for the current major work, this is where he leaves it. He does show us some of his upscale textures on the vehicles are added in and classic cars he's been working on adding, as well as having functional traffic signals and improved vehicle collision detection. But that's all he's put out so far. I like how everything is turning out with this mod. He's put a lot of work and time into this project and I'm excited to see what comes next and how the final iteration of this will look like. I think it's safe to say that I'm really invested in this project as I've already mentioned and hope it turns out phenomenal. That's all I've got for you guys. Let me know what you think of the progress so far. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other stuff, like subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.